What is happening, guys? Martin Martin is back again. We're back into it, guys. So, my review of four Ambrox. Okay, so I had this now for 24 hours. Um, I didn't necessarily wear it in the gym because it didn't really um, appeal to me to do that and explain the reason why. Um, this to me, guys, is not, in my opinion, a complete scent. This to me smells like something that you would layer. You'd, you'd have your main scent. So, for instance, if I took, okay, Blue Man Spirit, for instance, I'd have this and I would put this on, as a layer on top or even below. Okay, I wouldn't wear this one on its own necessary. From 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 what I can smell, guys, you get like um this this sort of um, I mean, it's saying it's out before Ambrox, so I'm, I'm assuming it's got that Ambrox type of um, Ambroxing smell. And this is what I'm getting whiffs of, guys. So the note breakdown for this one was musk, cedar in the base, and Ambroxing, and that's what it smells like, guys. It's not like a, a scent that you would have on its own. It smells more like something you'd have to accompany another scent. People are saying that this is um fantastic and everything else like that guys but to be honest you wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily know that this was the scent you were wearing it's more a sort of scent where you, in the in the opening you get this musk you get the cedar and a bit of that unboxing but throughout the day through the time you're wearing it i mean i'm getting roughly around about two three hours of noticing it maybe longer i don't know but to my nose it's just giving off these whiffs of the the, the um, i think it's the unboxing that's what i'm smelling so if you imagine like you've got um um, I don't know, like uh, for instance, Invictus, and for periodically, it's got grapefruit and everything else in there. It's fantastic, but there's this um, th this this wave that you get periodically with that type of of, of bubblegum sort of scent. This isn't a bubblegum scent by any way, but what's within Invictus, you get this type of um, periodic wave of a scent, which I enjoy, and that's what I think with this one, guys. Um, I think this one has been compared to um, I think it's Molecule um, O1. Um, I could be wrong. Um, yes, molecule all one, and there we go. So that's what I was suspecting, and this is what it smells like to me, guys. It's not really, it's not a complete scent in itself. It's one that you may have to layer with another scent to maybe bring out more from the other scent, or maybe bring out more for your real skin. But it's not a complete scent that I would say if I'm going to travel, I'm going to Spain tomorrow, I'm going to take this one. This isn't definitely not not the one for that. Um, it's okay for what it is. Um, I paid nine ninety nine. Um, it's not that bad, but at the same time, that's not necessarily, um, for me, my first choice. So, I don't really know necessarily something that I will be looking to to use. I'm, I might try and test it out with other fragrances and see if it does anything, but it's okay. Um, it's like, um, like for instance, Ambergris that you have in the um, Invictus. That smell keeps coming out periodically, and, and that's what it is for the Ambroxin in this, for, for me. You smell it periodically, but it's not necessarily... You wouldn't be able to say and define and say this is a scent within itself if you were wearing this or even if you had deodorant on you you'd get a whiff of this and maybe a deodorant depending on what you're doing guys so it's okay and um, that's my review on it i wouldn't necessarily go out my way to get it but at the same time guys that's my honest opinion it is just one of those things where you have it you have it if you don't it's not the end of the world okay so that's my review on this one guys Matt martin is back again thank you for that some subscriptions i'm going to give you a quick breakdown also my thoughts on zara fragrances and I'll see you guys soon.